can't believe you guys never said anything about my floor in my videos. Uh, it's so messy. <laughs> hey, what's up everybody? Guinea Piggies Designs here and today I am going to be doing a little bit of a different type of video. Today I am going to be doing a organizational slash sewing room slash office tour. As you can see like in previous videos, I'm sure you've noticed all the scraps and everything all over the floor and I was thinking it's about time that I like vacuum and clean that up. It's just I've been so busy trying to finish my custom orders and I'm still trying to finish my custom orders but I just can't take the mess anymore so I thought this would just be a great opportunity for you guys to see my actual like sewing room which is also my office too. Anyways the first part of the video is just gonna be like a time lapse of me cleaning up. I hope this might inspire you guys or give you a better idea of how I work and so forth so let's go ahead and get into the video. I went ahead and just organized just a little bit. I just did like a really like quick clean so it's not like heavy duty cleaning or anything. I just basically organized it to how I usually most of the time have it. And then maybe one day when I get more time or when I get done with like custom orders, I'll go into more detail of trying to organize things. But for now, this will do. So let's go ahead and get into the sewing room slash office tour. All right, so when you first walk in, this is basically what you see. So here's like an overview. I guess we'll start on this side and then just work our way around. Here is where I kind of keep knickknacks and all my threads and just random stuff here I have all the ribbons that I use for the cubes I got these on eBay here is a fake guinea pig I got from an Etsy shop called I think it was called Marutu I'll link her shop down below and I also have some perfumes I have pins little cactus pin cushion there buttons for a dress that I'm working on camera battery sharpie don't know why that's there <laughs> and some rotary blades memory card eraser down there the fabric down there is what I'm using to make a dress that I'm working on right now not that I'm working on but took a break but maybe one day I'll get back to it uh, over here I have some threads some other pencils random stuff more ribbon an apron sewing pattern for a dress down there here's all my colorful threads more ribbon and this is for my guinea pigs gas relief I don't know why I have that there but it's there I have a plate right here that's broken I just replaced it some more fabric for my dress some more ribbon for the cubes and that down there is just empty thread boxes that my aerofill thread came in sometimes I like to use those to store things and this right here is like a hair clip I don't know I just thought it would be pretty as a decoration this is a camera charging battery this is my old chair I got paint all over it from when I was painting my room a long time ago. Also, I have paintings on my wall that you might not see because I have them so high. Everything in this room are paintings that I painted. This painting right here is one of my favorites. Did this painting right here for an art class that I teach. Did that one for an art class that I teach. This one was for 4th of July that I made. This one right here was for an art class that I taught. So those are the paintings on this side. And then here's my sewing machine, which 
which most of you who watch my previous videos, you guys know it's a Janome Memory Craft 6600. So that's my sewing machine. I got my scissors. These are just scissors I use the most. So I didn't put them away because I use them a lot. Here, this is another pin cushion, a cactus pin cushion. Cute. I love cactuses. And I have my, sew my hand sewing needles in them and my pins. And the pins I just use for my fashion design. I don't use them for cozies really. And then here I got rulers, scissors, you know, all that jazz. My box of wonder clips. I have this sewing machine desk type of thing. Actually, Victoria, if you guys, for those of you who have followed me for a really long time, she actually gave me this desk because when she got her sewing machine, her machine came with one and I didn't really have one. So she went ahead and sent me hers, which was really sweet of her. So Victoria, if you're watching this, thank you so much. I still use it, it's still here. And also another side note, Victoria, since she doesn't sew anymore, she's actually trying to sell her machine. So if anyone is interested in this kind of sewing machine, not like my machine, but her machine, she has the same exact one, she's selling it. I think she's asking for like $2,000 or best offer, so you could get a really good deal with it. And I think she's gonna include the table and everything. And when she messaged me about it, she said she just had it serviced, so it's running like brand new. So if anyone is interested in purchasing a machine exactly like this one I'll go and link her Instagram I'll put it right here and I'll link it down below if anyone wants to send her a message if you guys are interested in purchasing a machine from her so she has that and here is my hand sewing thread I got this light here which is always good to have and then these drawers are kind of messy I didn't really organize these so but let's just go through okay I got safety pins for fashion design this is something you can put on your wrist and put pins in so it's easier I got my hand sewing needles machine sewing needles, an extra bobbin case just in case I need it, um, a chalk pencil, scissors, um, tweezers, more like beading needles, just random stuff. And then here are my bobbin holders, more machine needles, hand sewing needles. Okay, that's pretty much all that's in that. Okay, this one, I have a whole bunch of like wood. I was gonna start making guinea pig toys. So I collected this wood and I was gonna hand paint them and make them look cute, but I don't know, I just never had the time. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. Maybe one day I'll paint them and sell some guinea pig toys in my shop. I don't know, we'll see, but they're just wooden shoes. All right, in this drawer, I have my small wonder clips. I have my hooks for my corner forest and hay bags. I have a big pink pin cushion with longer needles in it. I have ribbon for cubes, hand sewing needles. I got a screwdriver. This piece here is the top to this. And down there, in that case right there is the case that holds my laptop. Sometimes I use that when I teach my art classes. Here is just a random tote that I can store things in and carry things like easily like sewing supplies things like that if i decide to take my sewing stuff somewhere else i guess so that's basically this side if anyone is wondering what this thing is that's like a battery charger so if your electricity goes out it'll keep your power running for like an hour or two or something like that oh yeah and then this right here that i use to clean my machine is this data vac duster it basically blows like air so it's really good for like when i clean out my machine i blow that in the the machine it blows out all the dust so now let's get on to the desk area I have a couple monitors I have this one right here which I'm not using right now I just need to find a better place for it and then I have my Dell laptop right here I have my LG extra wide monitor that was a gift for me and let's see I have my business law book which is the class I'm studying in college right now I have my iPad polyester fiber fill under the desk I have a yoga block there because I'm really short and I can't reach the ground when I'm sitting up straight so I use that to rest my feet on got this keyboard I love this keyboard I've had this keyboard for like six or seven years it's solar powered so you don't have to like plug it in or anything which is really nice and you never have to change the batteries as you can see it's kind of turning yellow from the Sun damage I guess all right here's my mouse over here, this is the computer I use to edit my videos. It's an old MacBook. Basically, I mean, it's really old. This was given to me. Like the H key on it is broken and some other keys are broken. So when I use it, I hook up my keyboard to this just because it's hard to type on and the trackpad really doesn't work on it. But this has iMovie on it, which makes editing my videos really easy. So that's why I still use this computer. But otherwise, I use my Dell for my Photoshop and everything else. Here, I have some plants. 
plants. I have some fresh flowers here that actually my boyfriend, he surprised me with them yesterday, which was really sweet of him. Yeah, so I put them here by my window. Yeah, it smells so good. It's so pretty. And then here I have a special plant. I don't know the name of it. It's this really long word I can't pronounce. Up here I have another painting I did for an art class that I taught. Here I have a whole bunch of dress patterns, shirt patterns, you know, clothing patterns. I have my measuring tape here for when I measure garments. I have some random earphones, some random wires. I guess these glasses are for you to wear while you look at a computer, but I never use them. Got my memory flash drive. I have this box that was a gift for me, some more wireless headphones. I have my camera, which this is what I use for my photography. It is a EOS Rebel T6i by Canon. And I just use the standard lens that comes with it, which is a 1855 millimeter. So that's the camera I use. This is what I used to record my videos on, but now I use my iPhone to record my videos because this camera has trouble focusing. It's not really good for video, but yeah. Got my old phone case here. Here, my new phone box right here, which is an iPhone. I got some tarot cards. I don't really believe in this, but I just find it interesting to do sometimes. A whole bunch of sticky notes that I didn't organize. My calculator for class, because you know when you take math classes, you need one of these. And it's pink, so some nail filers, a draping book for clothing. Here I have my fashion design books. I love pins, so I got a lot of pins. I got more pins right here. These are my favorite kind of pins. I love the Papermate flare pins. I've been liking these kind of pins too. They're like watercolor pins. These are by Bean Color Real Brush. They're pretty good for like art and stuff. Over here, I have the stuff that I am working on at the moment. So here are all the cuddle cups. I'm almost done with them. I just need to add that last seam around them and then they're done. This one, I still need to hand sew up. So that's the last one I need to hand sew up. Here I have some clearance potty pads that I'm finishing up on. I have a whole bunch more that are finished in the other room and I'll be posting those to my shop soon. Here are some hay corners I'm working on. I'm almost done with these. I just need to add the back onto them and cut the fringes and those are done. So I am getting caught up. Here I have my serger here. I have my grommet kit and everything right here because this is the area I use to add the grommets to my items. Here I have a mannequin I guess in a size 4. This is a dress I started working on a while ago, a few months ago and I never finished. It's turning out pretty cute I think but I just haven't had the time to really finish it. And then over here is another painting I did. Got my school backpack there, some birthday cards from my friends and family, a light. All that's in my closet over here is a whole bunch of like art canvases because I use those when I teach my art classes. So again here's a overview of me just turning in my chair. And I have two office chairs because it's annoying just to go back and forth on carpet so this makes it easier to go from here to there I guess. All right so anyways yeah that's pretty much my office slash sewing room. One day I would really like to put my sewing area in another area just because this room is kind of small so I feel kind of cramped in here for it being like both and I know this desk oh yeah the desk the actual desk here I think I got on Amazon it wasn't like super expensive for like a u-shaped desk which is why I got it but it's really neat oh yeah and up there I have some more ribbons for my cubes and things like that and up here I have a fragrance thing that makes it smell good all right so I guess I'm just gonna end off the video here I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll try to link anything I mentioned in this video in the description down below also uh, make sure you watch my last tutorial video and comment on it on what tutorial you would like to see next and make sure if you guys haven't watched my giveaway video make sure you check out that video I'm doing a giveaway every month now I'll have that video linked down below if you want to know more about my giveaway I'm doing this month And if you guys want to see more videos from me, make sure you go and subscribe to my channel And if you kind of like how I have my room set up, go and give this video a like And I want to thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video Okay, bye!